Hi, I hope you learned from this. You see, these days it has become so easy for almost everyone to claim to be an authority in what they don't know. You know, it's almost possible for everyone to speak to you, to want to advise you, to want to talk to you, to want to guide you, to want to counsel you, you know, to want to direct your life on how they think it should be. But hey, let me tell you something. You shouldn't listen to almost everybody. You shouldn't take advice from almost everybody. Not everyone who speaks to you, who tends to advise you, is right. No. Now, this might not go well with some elderly people, but the truth be told, not everyone who is older than you is actually worthy enough to advise you. You want to ask me why? Remember that fools also get hurt. People with a mindset of mediocrity also get hurt. So not everyone who seems to be older than you has the, the, the capacity, has the um, authority to guide you, to give you advice. Now, I am not saying don't listen to advice, but when you are when you get advised, take this advice, see fit, and take what really matters to you the most. Only pick what is relevant to you. Not everything that is being said to you is applicable to you. For example, you know, I was thinking and I, I asked myself, what would have happened if the first man would step his foot you know, in, you know, on the moon, decide to seek for advice on how to get to the moon. Probably he had asked people, but as at the time when no one has gotten to this, no more than anyone has achieved this, I am very sure that a lot of people must have told him that it is not possible. A lot of people must have, you know, given all sorts of excuses, all sorts of theories, all sorts of you know, ideological sort of experience of why it cannot be done. But the point is that, fine, some might want to guide you because they love you, but that does not mean that you have to listen to everything everyone has to say. It is good to seek for advice. I am not saying don't listen to advice. It is very, very good. It is one of the things I would advise you to do, listen to advice. But when you have been advised, take it, measure it, pick the one that is relevant to you. How would it sound like you want to become an entrepreneur or you are even an entrepreneur and the person you seek advice from is someone who had never taken risk, who had never thought of what it takes to set his or her feet outside the office environment to challenge the status quo. How would that person advise you? Okay, or you want to become a, an investor. You want to live as one of the greatest investors in, in, in this world. And yet, you are speaking to get advice from someone who, who don't even understand what it takes to invest. Who had never done any form of investment before in his or her life. What kind of advice do you get from that kind of person? Oh, you 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 have things you want to do in your life you know you you you're trying to get advice on marriage and you're speaking to someone who has cheated on on his wife who had cheated you know on a husband and this is the kind of person that wants to advise you about marriage what kind of advice will you get so you don't have to you know to listen to every advice not everyone is worthy enough to give you an advice. Remember, life is short, and you have one life, just one life, to live. So, it is good you live in fulfillment every day. Peace out.